can't wait myself, Luis Carver, brilliant performer. But while we all gear up towards that never before heard song of hers, let's quickly get into your youth sporting results as there's a lot to get through. Now, after a month of public holidays and rugby festivals, the schoolboy rugby circuit got back to the hard-hitting business between the top schools in the nation this past weekend. There were derbies all across the country with some really tight matches and dominant results alike. In Gauteng, the boys from Jeppe handed St. Stithians a thorough lesson in running rugby as they managed to put 50 points against the rivals whilst only conceding 14. Kez and Maritzburg College played to a thrilling 25-all draw in Houghton on Saturday. Maritzburg uh, converted a late penalty at 22-25 down to the host to, re uh, to record a famous draw. And then in the Eastern Cape, Hudson Park narrowly lost 19-20 to Kingswood College whilst over in Grahamstown, Graham College lost their local derby against St. Andrews 17-31. Over KwaZulu Natal, the green machine that is Glenwood kept moving forward as they defeated DHS 38-13 and Michael House continued where they left off against Hilton by claiming the scalp of St. Charles with a good old-fashioned hiding 50-10, the final score in that matchup. In the Western Cape, Fairmont High School thumped local rivals Burfield 43-3, whilst Strand came ag uh, agonizingly close to a famous win when they lost to Tigerberg 22-20. Bishops was in devastating form on Sunday as they walloped triple crown rivals Sachs 80-5 in what was the biggest scoreline of the weekend. But elsewhere, the highly impressive Hartfontein team came undone against Nalspreit as they lost their close encounter by 27 points to 28. E.G. Janssen scored 37 points to Middleburg's 22 to win their match, whilst uh, St. Andrews of Bloom defeated Bloemfontein High 45-22. But in the derbies of the weekend, it was a match to be remembered by Queen's College on Saturday as they took on their provincial rivals Grey High School in a match that uh, the entire first team had been looking forward to. It had been a forgetful day, or had been a forgetful day for Queens, who had not managed to post a victory against Gray in any of the age groups before the first team. But that was not the matter, as Jerry Dankwa, who praised his hand off a week ago here on Expresso, showed why he's such an exciting prospect for the future. The big winger had a run that included four consecutive handoffs to, to uh, score a try in the dying moments of the match and secure a famous victory for Queens College, with the scores finishing at 29-25. It was a first team double for Queens as they also won the hockey 4-2 and thus were the overall winners of an exciting weekend of school sport. And then at the Hawthorne Field in Weinberg on Saturday, two of South Africa's top schools played one of the most exciting matches of the weekend as Weinberg boys took on Paul Boys High. The first half belonged to the host who dotted down behind the try line three times against Paul's one to go into the change room leading 19-7 and looking on course for famous victory. But uh, Paul wasn't having it as they outscored Weinberg by four tries to one in the second half and managed to hold on for a hard-fought and well-deserved 24-22 victory. And then in Pretoria, it was one of the most anticipated clashes of the weekend as the country's top side, Grey College, took on the Wittbilla office. The match lived up to the billing as the, the boys on the field traded blows for the first 35 minutes of proceedings, with Grey College entering the halftime break as 22-19 uh, leaders in, the, in this encounter. The second half looked like it was going to be a, a college affair when the boys from Bloemfontein kept the scoreboard tickling to take uh, their lead to 39 points against 19. Office would respond in outstanding fashion and fight back to, ge uh, to get the scores 39-31 and send Gray's heart into a little panic. But uh, with another Gray penalty, they took the score to 42-31 as Office would need two tries and a conversion to win. The home side wouldn't be able to pull, uh, wouldn't be able to pull an Ike Tigers as they lost the counter 42 points to 31 which uh, firmly solidified Gray's position at the top of the schoolboy rankings and finally wet weather marred the biggest match of the weekend as Paul Ruiz took on Paul Chim on Saturday both teams committed a handful of handling errors but it was the visitors who managed to go into the break with an eight-point advantage thanks to a Matt Gallo uh, to a, to a, thanks to a Matt Gallo try and Reinhardt Fortein penalty the second half began almost like the first ended with a Dean Fontana try to take Ruiz up to 13-0 against their hosts. Paul Chim would respond thanks to Captain Zandre the Cooker who dotted down the next uh, to the sticks and with a subsequent conversion trialed Paul Ruiz by six. 
a penalty a piece would be traded from that point through the full time as the Stadenbosch outfit held on for a sweet victory against their rival 16-10 the final score and we uh, want to give our round give a round of applause to all our young sports stars making us so proud across the sport fields around the country now a little bit later on we have some more sporting news for you surrounding Donald Sterling the owner of the LA Clippers after he was caught making racist comments but uh, he apparently after quite some time came forward with an apology we've got the full story for you after the break stay tuned